Yes, I'm calling about putting an ad in the services down here. And um, can you give me the rates on that and how it, how it works exactly? Correct. A lot of times ADD people are capable of hyper-focusing on things and uh, thus they're able to really uh, get better results here and there, you know, with something that they're really interested in. But really, you know, in, in school I was definitely distracted, I had a really hard time uh, paying attention and was an awful student, just drifted, constantly drifted. But, um, and, and one of the symptoms of ADD also is, is that you, you lose your temper now and then. I don't know, it may be frustration or whatever. I don't know what causes it. And um, so she put me on, she prescribed an antidepressant drug called Effexor. So I said, all right, well, you know, I'll take it. You know, I was feeling fine. I was myself. Here we go, it's swelling again. And, uh, but I said, I'll take it anyway. And she's like, well, it's going to do this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make you, oh, there's uh, Tracy. I'm going to turn around and speak to him. If he doesn't take off down the road here. Yeah, let's see. It's my ferry. So I went on the on the on the stuff, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't know, I, I don't know if I want to do that. You know, I want to, I want to take that stuff. I, I, I just want to be myself. It's like, oh, you'll you still be yourself. You'll just be a calmer self. And it was really freaky at first. He's long gone. Really freaky at first because some of the symptoms are, uh, and that had me worried, are impotence. Or, uh, and, uh, but I didn't have that problem. Just, just became a stud on it. So that's what it was good for. I was, but um, did it really have the opposite effect? It didn't have the opposite effect. It just I was able to have sex for an extended period of time. I mean, intercourse for an extended period of time, which that was a nice part of it. And sometimes people who have problems with premature ejaculation are um, prescribed antidepressant drugs. Mm -hmm. In fact, recently they, I heard that they uh, use them for helping people to get off of cigarettes. And I could see that. I could see how that could work. And. Um, but uh, but I went on this drug, right, and uh, started taking it. And sure enough, I calmed down, you know. I mean, everything smoothed out. And um, so, and I was on them for a year. And, uh, and for that year, I, I really, you know, was comfortable with it. But then uh, I started, decided, well, I wanted to come off. And so I, um, I started tapering back. And so instead of taking a, a whole pill in the morning and a whole pill in the evening, I would take a half a pill in the morning and then a half a pill in the evening. And then, I, then, you know, now and then I would not take it and I would have these atrocious, wild, crazy dreams. If, I, if you ever miss, you have the crazy dreams. And, uh, and I would be very uncomfortable when I wouldn't take it. You know, and I'd like, you know, where is the stuff? What is that? Well, we can see that later. 
why did why did you decide that you wanted to start coming off of it? Well, you know, I just um, I felt like I was doing fine. I didn't see a need to be on it. And but isn't so, that the effect that it's supposed to have to make you feel so that you don't? Yeah, don't everything's know. everything's fine. It was kind of a, a you know made me hazy. You know, like everything's all right. Stuff that you've had three days off of work, what's that guy? What's he doing? What's He's that guy doing? All those things that you have to do and getting it done. You know, there's no problem. Anything that comes up is is okay. And that's a nice feeling to have. You know, it's like uh, it's like. Uh, just, just believe that everything's going to be okay, and don't get uptight and worried about anything. And it felt, it was nice. It was like a vacation. I enjoyed it. Oh, Barry, I don't want to pop when she. This is your. <laughs> this is your. Why don't you tell me? This is your neighbor's. Tell me just quickly what's going on here. This is my neighbor's horse, and he's moving, and uh, he owes his brother some money, Dale here. Mm-hmm. And he's given Dale the horse and Lou with the money. Okay. Which is a really good situation because Dale will take care of her. Yeah. And um, Wendell didn't didn't take care of her. Didn't do anything for her. She learns she can't back up. Sway her butt around a little. Just push her butt all the way around. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Get her, baby. There you go. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Watch her. Get behind her with your whip now. Watch him now. Watch him. Don't let him hit you. Hey, there you go. Now, you know what? If I could, if I could unwrap it one time there, so that it's only wrapped once. See, put that. See, but if it would, could slide on on her bridle there, you see what I'm saying? And then I can take up the slide. So if we can, can you unloop it over there? Let me unloop it. She's almost there. Where's your wheel, Fat? Come on, baby. Oh, you left. Didn't try this. Oh, there it is. It's in. Yes, in. She 
came in on a three horse stock. Yeah. Slant load, but, but he, yeah, he had everything up. Huh? So finally, uh, on September 16th, which is my birthday, and this is what, October 28th of the same year, and um, finally, I, uh, I just quit taking it all together, and I got, uh, I just became very, very irritable, really, really uh, short with people and situations. And uh, what it was like is, it, it reminded me of what it must be like for a hardcore alcoholic to quit drinking because what I had been doing is supplementing, I, I believe my theory is supplementing my natural uh, coping mechanisms, if you will, of processes uh, with, with a chemical process. And so my comfort level was just zero. I was very uncomfortable with everything. And so, uh, but I realized why, and I didn't want to get back on the stuff just to, just to feel better. I was basically, I was basically addicted to the stuff, and they say it's non-addictive, but if I, if I were insistent on being comfortable, then, then I would have to keep taking it. I would have had to keep taking it, or if I, if I had not been willing to go through the time it took to get through that, just like a, an alcoholic quitting drinking or a drug addict getting off of a, a, of a drug. It was just like that. And uh, um, so... Why did you hang in there? I, well, I hung in there because I realized that what I had gained was was my gumption. What I had gained was who I am, was my drive, was what's going to make me be me. Here we go.